but I went to UMD at the time. The idea was, oh, I can design, build, program robots completely. Like mm. no sense of specialization. And you come out of, you know, you're ranked sixth in India and you're a 22 year old, you have a big ego. And you come Makes to graduate sense. school and uh, realize, oh man, I don't actually know as much as I thought I did. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I can't build an entire robot by myself to do anything that's noteworthy. So yeah. it, uh, I had to sort of decide where I wanted to go in terms of my specialization. Yeah, it makes sense. So found myself in a similar position. Yeah, I, I imagine every grad school is humbling. I, I exactly. realized I am kind of adult compared to some of these other people. Where I'd always, <laughs> like you, I I'd kind of wiped the floor with everyone else academically up mm -hmm. until then. Yeah, and so like I was valedictorian, like in a lot of different, like in high school I was, like every high school I went to, mm -hmm. and I went to a bunch and. As an undergrad, I mean, I would like break the curve on like 200 person lecture yeah. halls, you know, and engineering programs. And, you know, I, I, I had to get used to not being the smartest one in grad school because I wasn't anymore. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so. those guys there were also the smartest ones in their rooms. Yeah, so. that was it. Yeah. But yeah. also at the same time, it's like there's a difference between being good at an undergrad level thing versus coming to grad school and seeing people who have devoted years and years to research and have this depth of understanding of a certain problem. It's just, it doesn't compare. 